So this is going to be lamb hock with um, beer. We've got some ale and some honey. And I'm going to do that with a nettle champ. So first things first, the hock around the shin of the lamb. So it's a muscly uh, cut, so a wee bit of salt on this. And then I've got a nice hot pan here and then we'll just put a bit of oil on it just to heat that up. And then we're going to seal that off and then add all our vegetables and everything to it. So now that's pretty smoky now, that's good. So just, just want to put these in here. So just want to get a wee bit of colour in these on the lamb. Here. And then just into that we're going to put some onion. So a bit of onion, just not fine. Um, some uh, celery. We we'll just get this sealed off. We we'll get a nice bit of colour in that. A bit of colour on our bottom bit there. And the thing about sealing it off is you're sort of caramelising the sugars. So if you don't do this, you tend to get like a sort of a grey kind of a foamy thing. So we want to just avoid that. So get that all cooked round. So this is a cheap, cheap fish. It used to be a lot cheaper. Um, just to give them away, not anymore unfortunately. Uh, just tuck in our vegetables into the bottom there and they'll soak up some of that lovely juice. A wee bit of salt just in at the bottom there. And we just want to let that colour that lamb just a wee bit there. The colour those vegetables a wee bit. And certainly a nice juice from the lamb will come down. So we're keeping this really, really nice and straightforward. Um, a wee bit of honey. This is a, a heather honey. And just a, a nice sort of tablespoonful of honey. Again, yeah, getting that lovely smell now coming through. Look, and it's all sealed off. And then just um, some ale. So this is just uh, this is actually called Barney's Brew, and uh, Barney invented the Belfast Bap. So there were, which is a roll. So we're just a nice bit of that. And then all, the, all I want to do there, get a beautiful smell of that. Um, beer and the honey and everything and the lamb, absolutely gorgeous. So just put a lid on. And then into a slow oven, like I would normally put that in about 150 and leave it really. We're going to leave that for about three hours. Might be longer, might be less, just check it and if, it, if it's, it's nice and fork tender then we're good to go. The lamb's just cooking away there, so we're going to do a, like a nettle champ. So champ is... Uh, Champ is potato, mashed potato with the addition of scallions and butter. Um, we're going to put in some, I'm also going to put in some blanched um, nettles and also a wee bit of kale to, to go into it. So what I've got here is, I've got the scallions, so a couple of scallions. And these are the nettles here. But what I did was just uh, t pick the nettles, obviously with gloves, into boiling water for about 10 seconds, take them out, cool them down. And that's just to uh, take the sting away. A wee bit of um, milk in the pan. And a mashed potato already. A bit of milk and then a bit of butter as well. So, nice bit of butter. And let's let that melt in there. And then just um, try and, we'll try and finely chop the scallions so there's not much cooking in them. You don't want big lumps of scallions, so nice and nice and fine and then the idea is that the scallions sort of flavour the milk if you even let them infuse for an hour that would be great okay so that's our that's our scallions so they just into the pan and then let that just sit a wee second and then our our nettles here we're going to put them in so just again nicely Shred it and and champ and and kilcannon. Kilcannon's a well, we would know kilcannon now as a potato and cabbage 
but actually Kilcannon would have started off with potato and nettle. And nettle's also great Ulster Scots dish is nettle soup, which is um, probably the best thing you can eat. But anyway, uh, put that down. You get that certainly get that lovely smell of milk and onions. And so I just want to shred. I've already blanched the kale, and then just that just goes into. That in as, as well. So the idea is that just warming the milk, now I'm just going to warm the spuds, just warm these vegetables up and they're already kind of blanched so you don't want them overcooked either, you want that nice green. I'm going to put a wee bit of salt onto that as well. So I've, I've already uh, cooked the spuds and mashed them so they'll just go in here to warm up. together then. You want this to be nice and creamy as well so we'll just a wee bit of our mash. So cook. And then that other bit of butter that's that's gonna go at the end. So we'll just let that bubble away there and just uh, just to warm through and absorb all the all the beautiful vegetables there. Was, it took about two and a half hours, so just nice slow oven, and and then you've got their lovely juices and everything in there, and so we've just our champ nicely cooked here. So just uh, this is our champ with loads of kale in it, probably more kale than potatoes actually, and nettles and a few scallions, and then I'll just sort of take our lamb shank there. put that down there and then just some of the nice juices so these juices have got the the ale in them they've got some honey they've got all the flavor from the lamb the the flavor from the vegetables you know from our lovely um, onions and our celery and that's it there we are that's our lamb hock with a nettle champ